What you were asking, like fifty bucks? Well, originally I was asking three hundred. Oh, Jesus Christ! Hey, how you doing? Good. How are you? Good. How are we doing today? Oh, not bad, man. Not too bad. Can't complain. Doesn't do any good. Nobody listens, right? Oh, you got that right. Hughes Auto Formers. RB three twenty fifty new pre owned. Yeah. It's a, it's a 50 amp auto former. It's got a uh, transformer in it and a uh, sensor. If, if you get it, if it goes uh, down 10 percent below 120, it pops in, brings it back up. Oh, okay. And if it goes over, it shuts it off. Yeah. What would be your best, your best on it late in the day? <laughs> you don't want to know what that sells for new. Yeah. I I just sell them and hopefully somebody wants it or you know, give, you know how give, me, it is. give me a number what you were asking like 50 bucks well originally I was asking 300 oh, Jesus Christ. well they run 695 yeah. well man it's hard to it's hard to give you a lower number than if you were wanting that much what do you I mean what do you think what would you what would you be happy with 25 and it's yours I'll give you 30 bucks I'll, okay. I'll give you a little bit extra okay. 30 30 bucks I mean yep. Yep. why not and it gets it off your hands and I buy stuff like that because you know I, I can sell it online sometimes <laughs> I can sell it you know so I buy things like you, that you can get a good number for it yeah do you have a oh well do you have a 20 I do all right but you gotta wait a minute so I no you're it. good you're good brother five skins a fin skin and a saw buck <laughs> uh, you better keep the 50. I say you better keep the you better you better trying to help you out which you come in so pay me <laughs> he'd be paying me 50 bucks to take it <laughs> thank you boy so that video you just seen, it's sold and we're going to ship it. Now this thing is like 35 pounds, so it's not going to be the easiest and it's awkward. It's got this hose on it, electrical wire, whatever it is. But this is just going to be the shell because I'm double boxing it. So this don't really matter as much.
So now, if you need tape and you ship a lot of stuff, we buy ours off eBay. Comes out to like, I know it's less than a dollar a roll, something like that, 75 cent, 80 cent a roll, something like that. I, don't, I might be wrong, but I know it's less than a dollar. So don't skimp on the tape. Still about 25 cent left to take. There you go. And I forgot to mention too, on something like this, if you ever get something that, I mean, rarely we ship stuff this big, but something like 20 or 30 bucks and it goes for 200 and the guy paid shipping. So, 99.9% .9 of the time send this stuff UPS because it's going to be a lot cheaper. So for instance, if you try to send this priority, it's 37 pounds. It's $117 to send priority. If you send it UPS ground, 54 bucks. So it's more than half the price. So Make sure on stuff like that, always check which one to send in. FedEx or UPS is always gonna be cheaper than the post office on big stuff like this. What's hey, going so on, man? How are you what doing? Do you want me to sit all day? I eat all right here. So those are PS2 games. We have a PS2, you know, right? We have a PS2 at the house, but it won't sign on. I need so another bag, I know I just ripped it. I don't know, no, good. I don't know what's wrong with the PS2, but all the games are in good condition, so we brought them up to have you look at those. You give this in a unit? Yeah. Right. Leave it in a about 500 more DVDs. Oh, yeah? Yeah, we got... Uh, if their box is about this big and about this high... I, I brought most of the ones that are in good conditions. If they're Blu-rays, I take them, but if they're just regular DVDs... We ain't even look. We ain't we had have enough time to look at them. It was a big old four-bedroom home, and we just now, two days ago, got finished. In fact, I got to go back tomorrow to get the last load. So for PS2 games, it's a rule of thumb, like a lot of the horror stuff is like what you want, like horror or racing. Like horror stuff is like the stuff that sells for a lot. Okay. Oh, no, you're good. We just, we ain't got really much need for them, you know? I'm not sure what, I know this one's probably like, I mean that condition though, that condition's a little rough, but let me see here. That's it, bro. I got a whole bunch of rings if you want them, I'm going to give them to you because I ain't going to do nothing with them. They got 925 on them. Well, they're silver. If you got a bunch of them, I'll give you something for them. Yeah, I, I, they're just sitting on my dresser. Just sitting yeah, there. Most of these games, they are from like that old 10 to 15 bucks. But anything like this, I just, I can, if I priced them at 15 a piece, I couldn't sell for yeah. them all. So I just put them on that $5 shelf. But there's nothing in here that's really like. Thing. Sticks out to me other than stuff I would put out there. Okay, of course. But the system is very clean, man. I'm interested in this. Yeah, that's what we brought up, so. Uh, I tested to make sure everything worked on it. The only thing I did not test was this right here. Yeah. Did not test that. So what did you looked it up? What do you want for it? Um, it's selling for about 200 so I was thinking any, anything above 100 half of that. Because it's selling on eBay. If I go to eBay looking at them, yeah. and once I'm in worse condition, I looked that. at them. Yeah, that one, that one's clean. That one's in real good condition. So that come out of the unit too. Yeah, no, actually, that come no, out of the came house. Out of another house. Yeah. Yeah, another house. Yeah, that's a up. special edition one too. That's the. Uh, they made a couple. I think there is a disc in it too. There's some type of um game. I don't know what type yeah, of game.
made a Gears of War one. I think they made a Call of Duty. One. I know they made a Call of Duty one. They made that Star Wars one. They made a couple of different. I have no idea. I've never played. I've I've still never played a game on on nothing. Yeah, when I turn it on, not I even the old Nintendo. No sir. I used to play the old True. Nintendos now. Yeah. Nintendo 64s. You know what my game was? Money. Pinball. Pinball. And long, talking about pinball. long time ago. Game. Long. Yeah. Where you stand up and do this. Yeah, I like that, pinball. pinball. That was my last. That was the last game I played. I just know whenever I whenever I get them, I always tell myself, man, that's a good game, man. I'll get Tommy to look at it and see what he thinks. And, and then we go from up. there. We go by whatever he says. We'll just probably end up posting the PS2 games on, on Facebook Marketplace, $5 a piece. Yeah, somebody might buy the whole lot from you if you... Yeah, there's, there's what, 20? 19 or 20? So what we can do is put them five dollars a piece, or all of them for seventy-five dollars. I didn't check the condition of the controller. Yeah, that's good. That's mm -hmm. good shape. It's good that you have it too, because this was the controller to this console. Yeah, I didn't know that. And I've seen them. I've seen everyone yeah. I looked at. They were with it, but I didn't know that too. That's why I called. And then when you told me, I was like, "Hold on, wait a minute. We got a gold controller for it." So and then there's also that, that too. I don't know what that is. I never plugged that up to see if that worked just because I wasn't going to log into the Xbox and everything like that. Would you do 100 for it? That's up to you. I don't care. Do that? Uh, could you do 125 maybe? I'll meet you at 110. 110 is 110. fine. 110. Alright. We are. Um, you, did you want me to bring that? The ring. rings up there to you? How many do you have? Only like maybe five. Yeah. But I don't want nothing. I just no, give I'll, them to I'll give you something for them. I sell, so all the silver rings, I just put them in there. And I sell them for like, depending on what they are, I sell them for like $10, $20 a piece. So I'll, yeah. give, you, I'll give you something for them. I mean, I don't. I, I mean, ain't, uh. Yeah. You know what I would have done with them? I just told them. Your name or your name? Do you have your ID with you? Yeah. The, the, the. Uh, I was just going to throw them in the garbage. To tell you the truth. Yeah. If we get that PS2 working, I'll bring it up here. I don't honestly, I don't know what's the wrong. PS2, with it. man, I have. So the best thing to do with that, if you're going to keep those games, is put a lot together. Okay. Put the games with the system. And then just put it on the marketplace. System as not working. Yeah, I just have a few of them. So I mean. Yeah, because I know, man, the PS2. How much do them sell for? The PS2. Is it if the fat one or the slim one? It's the fat one. It's not the slim. So, so condition means a lot on mm -hmm. games, on older gaming mm -hmm. systems. So if it's in good condition like that with those games, you can probably put those games with that 150 somewhere okay. in there, something like that. Okay. Yeah, I have I I'm just like I said. You can yeah. always come yeah. down, yeah. man. You can never go up. So yeah. start high if it don't get any, if it don't get any looks. Anybody put it down 25. Yeah. Put it until somebody, somebody will buy it. They, He's learning everything with the game system. Yeah, I'm just learning, man. I'm telling you, I ain't, it amazes me, man. I, I had a game I bought a few weeks from a yard sale ago. One game like that over there was one of those cartridges, six hundred dollars for one of them. Which one was it? Um, the game. We did find a necklace. The game was called Zombie Nation. Zombie Nation. Um, I don't know why I couldn't think of it. We did find. Uh, is that 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 105, 110. Keep the change. Keep the change. All right. Appreciate it. All right. Thank All you right, man. Y'all take it easy. Take Hope you find more stuff. Of course. Oh, yeah, Good doing business. All that right. one right there took us four days to empty. Whew. Oh, yeah. That's how full it was. It was a 25 foot deep. I 10 foot wide. Out. What do you do with all the other stuff? Like flea market? Oh, I sell it. Sell it. And if it's trash, you throw it out and take it to the dump. Yeah, we took mm -hmm. uh, seven loads of garbage yeah. to the dump. Dang. Yeah, man, that yeah. was Some 15 work, average $15 per load. <laughs> Just taking it to the dump. But see, like this morning, I sold a chase lounge that come out of there for 100 bucks already. This yeah. And with Marketplace, it's so good, man. Yeah, you can no, sell so much so stuff good. on a lot, a lot of scams, but if you know what to look for, yeah. Just don't never it. ship nothing. Always meet in a neutral, yeah. good spot, and you'll yeah. be good, man. So I want to appreciate everybody for watching. And then before we go, I want to talk about one thing. So. I guess last week I had a, somebody trying to scam a bunch of people from a giveaway. The only time I'm going to give something away is if you see your name on that screen and then I ask you to reach out to me. I'll never reach out and say, hey, you won anything. 
or anything like that. So if you get any emails like that, I try to block that account. So hopefully you don't get stuff like that. If you do, I apologize. I don't really know how to stop it. But anyways, so if you like the content, make sure you subscribe for 10,000. We're going to go to the coin show in July. So we're going to get something from there. I don't know what it's going to be. If you have a, like a suggestion of what you think we should get for the ten, big 10,000 giveaway, give me a comment and let, you, let me know. I'm thinking like currency, maybe some kind of bill or something like that we haven't given away. And I'm into stuff like that and I collect it. So appreciate y'all for tuning in.